Hi, I'm Nyla Murphy and I play right wing. Hi, I'm Dodie Rog and I play number 10. Well, I was at Drybury Girls for, I think, since I was seven or six, and then I went to, I think when I was 15, or just turned 16, I went away to Glasgow Girls. Um, and I've just moved here in January, so. Um, I started off at United Social until uh, I was about 11, and then I went to Bayside for a couple of years, and then moved to Glasgow City, and then halfway through Glasgow City, went to Queen's Park, and now I'm here. So the two of you have obviously played in Glasgow, so did you both have to move away? Uh, no, I just kept, my gran took me through, my gran and granda took me through three, four times a week. Um, so obviously it was a big commitment, but I liked it. And my dad took me through twice a week. Yeah, so you've had to rely on your parents yeah. for a bit of help, so has their, um, has their commitment also helped your careers? Uh, yeah, I'd say definitely, because if I stayed at uh, Driver, I think like, when I went to Glasgow Girls, I seen like a massive difference, like just going to a different side and having different like experience, like the different leagues and that, like the national performance, like and then different coaches and that. So I definitely felt that experience um, it was definitely worth it. Yeah, they come at the lot. I wouldn't be where I was today for one. So were you playing like um, academy football when you when you were playing through there? I was, I think, when I first joined there, I went, I was in the under 19s and we just went into the National Performance League uh, with Rangers and all that. And then um, I was there from maybe about a year, a year ago, I joined up to the first team. And then that was then. How did, how did you find the jump to the first team? Because in men's football, it's it's fit, like, you know, it's a big physical difference mm -hmm. when you go from academy football to um, first team. So is, is that the same with women's football as well? No, yeah, I think so, yeah. There was definitely different standards. Like, I felt the difference, but obviously, slowly, you slowly get into it and that. And it was, I enjoyed it. Um, I was in the National Performance League uh, under 16s. I won that league with Glasgow City and then I came here. So, it's a big jump from 16 to women. Yeah. Um, how have you found working with Game Heart? I found that it's different, but I like it, it's really good. Yeah, you get a good laugh at home. <laughs> <laughs> you obviously won the league to come up to the Premier League. Um, what do you think it was that drove you on to that last season? I think just obviously being in, like, just once you get up to the big league, it's like just being like experience and then playing big teams and that and just getting to that level, I suppose. Yeah, um, just being able to play with more experienced players who pushes you on to become better. Um, so we're here at Tannadale doing this interview, obviously. You got to play here last season, so how was that experience for you? not only you but your families as well? It was a good experience seeing all the fans coming at us, like growing the game obviously. Um, and obviously it was just good to be playing on the pitch. Yeah, I've never thought to be playing on, well, in a stadium like this. At 16, a, yeah. Yeah, at such stadium. a young age, did you find it daunting? Yeah, it's <laughs> scary. Yeah. Um, so away from football, what, what are your, um, what's your outside life like? Really just with my family, work, and then <laughs> pals, not just really what I can do. School. <laughs> <laughs> So you've so got Glasgow City next week, which is probably going to be your biggest challenge that you've probably ever faced in your career. So what kind of steps have you taken to, to prepare yourself both physically and mentally for that? You've just got to basically, just, we're just going to try going to it with confidence and knowing that we're going to give a good push and that and just hope for the best really. Just work as a team, be there for each other and then get a good result out of that. What do you expect from a team that quite regularly plays Champions League football? They're going to be well experienced. Um, they're going to they're going to be a tough to sign, you know, because obviously that's why they're in Champions League. Um, and obviously that's just what the standards that we're wanting to rise up. So, um, what have you made of your start to the, the SWPL season? I still think 
I've, I'm need, I want to kick on more, I want to score more goals than that, but obviously, like, as a team, I think we've started, we've started well, we might have not got the first result that we wanted, but we should have had it, but obviously, like, it's been a good start, so we can't really complain. So what's your favourite goal you've scored? The free kicks goal. <laughs> <laughs> That's a goal. <laughs> You're a nutty. A goal free kick is still a goal if you've scored that. No. Right. <laughs> Probably my free kick when I was at Scotland Cup. I'd say one of my, my favourite goals would be when I played for Drybra and I scored a free kick, probably from outside the box, and it just sort of made a dip that just went in. Who was your football idol growing up? Uh, I think my football idol would be probably Messi. Um, yeah, I've just always liked them. Uh, yeah, Messi as well. I just like the way he moves on the ball, how quick he is. What's your most embarrassing moment on the football pitch? Um, I don't know. I don't think I've had one. I've never had one. I think mine would be when I probably went to step back and I've caught my foot, my right foot, on my left foot, like Lisa's, and felt right back. <laughs> um, oh. What are you most looking forward to about this season? Uh, I'd say just the experience and being in the top league and doing well, because I know, I know we can do good in this league if we want. Just looking forward to getting more game time and being able to start from the start in the living in such high youth. I've got a good one. What's the dress? <laughs> <laughs> What's the dress then? Right, so who's got the worst dress in? Oh. Um, it's a hard one. Jade. Definitely Jade. <laughs> you think? Yeah, Jade. Um, I'm not sure to be honest. I was this and I'll go I don't even know, I'll just go Jade because I don't <laughs> even know. I haven't seen much so Right. Most underrated player in the team. Uh I would say you to be honest, for your age you're you've got like you're really good for a centre mid. Um being a young age, like compared to Jade and that, like you can like match them if you want. Obviously, just being a young age, I think they've done really well. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, <but. laughs> First football memory. Um, first football for the boys in school. <laughs> That's probably mine. I probably would say the uh, pictures down at Riverside, and my kit was probably. I was probably yeah, so little, and so the kids would all be baggy on you, and your, your grandma would be like, oh, give us a photo, give us a photo, <laughs> and you'd just stand there and, jeez. Do you have any superstitions before a match? Uh, not really, no, I just like to have a good breakfast and that, try, and then try to be ready for the game. I don't have any. Um, what's bad habit in the team? I probably... Maybe a habit, the castle getting booked. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, yeah, that. <laughs> Probably better than I've keeping this card in my pocket, but I blame Cassie for that sometimes. Wait, you got that belt, I'm sorry again. <laughs> <laughs> I stand there.